Hello friends, Tony here. Now in the previous video I showed you how to deploy Laravel project using Hostinger as a hosting service and deploy.io. And I had a comment how we can manually deploy all Laravel projects in LPBS. Now I'm going to use Hostinger also for this one. And I have created an account so you can go to Hostinger and create an account and on hosting we have a web hosting and cloud hosting. But we need a VPS, so we need to go here, VPS, and I have a VPS here, but let's go to get a new VPS plan, and you can choose what plan you want. We have a $6 a month, which has one core and two RAM, two gigabytes of RAM also. This is more popular, $8, and has two CPUs and two cores and a gigabyte of RAM, and I think it's very good. But also this one is going to work. Now let's go back and let's click. So when we create a VPS, we need to choose Ubuntu. As you can see here, a VPS information. We have the IP address, status, uptime, uh, current OS, which is Ubuntu. So you also you need to choose Ubuntu, the location, and the node. Now, what we need to deploy our Laravel project on our VPS is to have Ubuntu. Also, we need to have uh, Apache 2 or Nginx or Kadi. Nginx is uh, popular, also Apache 2 is popular, but Apache 2 is uh, more old nowadays. And also we have Kadi, which is new, but is very good. Now we are going to use Nginx and maybe I'm going to show you also with Kadi, we are going to see. Also we need uh, the PHP because Laravel is a PHP framework and we need to have uh, database installed so mysql or mariadb what you like what you prefer okay now if you quote here we have ssh access and here we can access our vps now we have a browse browser terminal here so you can access from here but i don't prefer this way yeah if we click vps login but as i told you i don't prefer this way i'm going to open my terminal and I use warp for that. So what we need now here is to come here and here we can see we have terminal. Let me just zoom it a little bit. And we can copy this. So SSH root, which is the user at and the IP address here. So I'm going to copy this one and paste and click our terminal and hit enter. Now for the first time we are going to have a prompt are you sure you want to continue connecting and i'm going to say yes here now because i have add here on ssh and my ssh has a fast phrase as you can see we have here enter fast phrase for the key and i'm going to add my fast phrase but if you don't have you are okay and hit enter and as you can see now we are logged in as a root user and because and here i have a tony .dev, but if you don't have a domain it's going to show this uh, ip which is okay now the first thing i'm going to do is to set up a simple firewall in ubuntu we have a built-in firewall called ufw which stands for uh, uncomplicated firewall and so we need to type here in the terminal ufw lowercase space and allow and the connection we want to allow to our server right now is the ssh connection we, right now we just need to connect through the ssh and then we're going to also to allow the web server okay so let's allow uh, ssh we need to say ufw allow open ssh now the o is uppercase and also the ssh is uppercase and we need to hit enter now okay but as you can see we have the command not found so we don't have a ufw installed we can install it by saying sudo apt and because we are for the first time here i'm going to say sudo apt update
Okay. And also sudo up, upgrade. Okay, hit yes. Good. Now we can install the UFW by saying sudo apt install. So to install any uh, package, we say sudo apt install and the name of the package. So UFW, hit enter. Okay, and now if we say UFW allow open SSH, hit enter. We are okay. Now we can check. Uh, for the UFW status by typing uh, UFW status. And as you can see, we have status is inactive. Let's say UFW enabled. Enable like this. Hit enter. And command made this to existing SSH connection. Proceed with operation. Let's say yes, just Y here, hit enter. Okay, now firewall is active and enabled on system startup. So if I check for the status again, we have the status active and here we have the open SSH, which is on a IP version 4 and open SSH in the version 6 here. And for right now, we are okay. Now, most users don't like to access the VPS through the root user. As you can see here, we are as a root user. And what they want is to create a new user and access through that user, not through the root user. And that's what we are going to do in the next video. That's it all for this video, friends. I hope you enjoy. And if you like such a videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends, and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.